Amanda with She's a Mad Gardener. I am out on my front porch today getting ready to plant these two containers. I actually found these on the side of the road. I was out uh, helping my parents uh, house hunt. They're moving out here to Texas and um, we <laughs> were driving around looking at some neighborhoods and I spied these out of the corner of my eye in a giant pile of trash being, um, waiting to be picked up and so I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I would say they're about a little over two feet, maybe like 30 inches tall. Um, the metal is really bendable, um, which is kind of great. They already kind of have a little bit of a rusty quality to them in some of the places, which I think is fantastic. And they have these sweet little handles that bend out too, which I think is pretty great too. So anyway, um, I'm gonna start by putting some drainage holes in these, and then I'm gonna um, start filling them up. is I'm actually really kind of prepping them for the fall is the ultimate goal. Um, I like the height of these. I think that I'm going to end up utilizing these on my front porch at some point, Put maybe against both of these um, brick columns on each side here. Um, but I thought the height was fun, so I wanted to continue to play with the height. So I picked up these purple fountain grasses from um, homegrown um, plants out in Farmersville. Texas and um, the price is great, $9 uh, for this quart size. And the goal is that these will get higher and higher and higher and have beautiful plumes. It would be fantastic. So um, the also thought is I'm gonna fill them in with some coleus around the base, maybe some icicles for a little bit of contrast. But the goal is to let these plant or get these planted now, let them enjoy the sunshine, and then hopefully by fall they'll be beautiful, gorgeous, and over the top, but ready to go. I'm actually going to tuck these back into some of my landscaping, perhaps in the back of the house or the side of the house, um, and then run a drip to them for the hot summer days. Um, but let's get started. 